since I've got a no I've realized we all care about things that don't really matter But now we will try to keep our heads above the water But what if we don't wanna? If we don't wanna? If there's something you wanna do, just do it. Don't let your head stop your heart from. All right, let's face it. You have a closet in your home that has an old looking wire system. That's one either came with the home that you purchased or rented, or you went with the cheapest version there was at the time. That's the reason why you clicked on this video. Welcome guys back to the Rose House. Welcome guys to another video. If you're new, my name is Sienna and I do lifestyle vlogs to my OG followers and watchers. Thank you guys so much for tuning into another video. Now in today's video, I'm excited to share this fantastic home project that's all about transforming Tia's closet from drab to fab let's be honest those old wire closet systems can be a sore thumb to the eye right even in the most modern and stylish spaces they are so out of style they're junky they make your house look old so i've decided it's high time to bid farewell to that dated wire mess and bring in something fresh and fabulous for my baby girl I can't wait to show you all the step-by-step -step process of how my family and I remove that old system and we install the chic modern system for baby girl. If you're tired of those boring wire closets too and want a stylish and functional upgrade, make sure you stick around and watch this video and remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Comments below your favorite part of the video and if you have any closet renovation tips or tricks and comment below if you hate seeing those wire system closets. For this project, I bought the Room Essentials Target bookcase for 40 US dollars. I said that right, 40 dollars. So I paid 40 dollars for the bookcases. I bought four bookcases, so that's 160 dollars plus tax. And then I got 18 to 30 inches adjustable closet rods. So I bought this in Lowe's and you, they have different sizes. You can also use the regular adjustable rods that you do not have to screw to the system. But I decided to use this one that you screw to the system because of course her clothes are going to get heavier and heavier. So $40 for my closet system and $9.98 for the adjustable rod. And then I picked up other small um things like some um speckling lightweight speckling to fill holes and some more nails so y'all this is tia's closet um i wanted to take on this project by myself but that nature didn't allow that so chris is here doing it for me i don't want my boys to be here she don't want our voice she don't want her voice to be in the vlog. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we are on our way with Tia's closet. So we're tearing down the wires. Um, we are changing out the closet system because, um, <laughs> because you know wire. This is wire, right, babe? No. What closet wires aren't in anymore. That's just really old fashioned and it keeps your closet very untidy. And um, especially when you have kids, you know, they're not gonna be as neat as how they should. And even so, this was the same system we had in our old home and I demolished the entire closet and spent a bag at ikea um i think we spent over two thousand dollars at ikea to, to redo our closet in our old home but we are now trying the viral tiktok hack and we're gonna walk you guys through that entire process um where we're transforming the closet um using the system from the viral tiktok hack and that's by using target bookshelves so stick around do not move grab your pens and your papers to get your information so 
they are working 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 i really was gonna do this project by myself but nature was like uh-uh you're gonna take the week off and that's what i did so these are the systems that we bought so they're bookshelves um they are the target uh bookshelves and they're the five shelf bookcase so that's what we're gonna do in her closet and then i got some um adjustable rods from lowe's and i think this is 18 to 30 inches i got a few of these and then i got some nails and stuff like that so we got four of this for now i want to put up the four of them to kind of see how because i still can't grasp how i want the closet to look so uh we're gonna put up the four of them kind of place them and then i'll work from there if i need to add like a drawer system i will this is how how her bedroom is looking right now because she pulled all of her clothes we're actually sorting what can fit what can fit her bags and stuff like that so i really want to set it up really really nice it's like it's gonna be her tween closet because you know she's growing up she's turning into a teenager so you know i want her to be as comfortable as possible so this is what we're using and then once it's successful and i like it then i am gonna transform miss tenniel's closet in the bigger room so stick around am i doing it right daddy can you show me see ya Watch your finger, mama. Be careful. Thank you, Tania. Thank you. No, this one. Give it Thank to you. Give it to mommy. Thank you, Tania. Give mommy. Give it to mommy. Give it to mommy. all right y'all so let me tell you everyone was on deck working i was there trying to capture all the content for you guys chris was there just taking down the closet in no time taking down the system in no time and his assistant let me tell you something about my family if you guys realize we incorporate tasia in everything when i tell you that chris teaches her a lot of stuff he does so say for instance anything that needs to be done in the house and her dad is not here she knows exactly where to find his tools what type of tools she knows how to change the water in her water um refrigerator thing she knows how to change filters she's been in the attic like chris teaches her everything she's so hands-on and i absolutely love that about her and i love the relationship that she has with her dad i don't know how anyone else grows their kids but as for me and my house we will serve the lord and we will continue to teach our girls the right way and have them involved in everything because for one we are not going to sit here and have anyone take them for granted. So my girls are very hands-on. You know, they help her. Well, not they, because Tenniel is still a baby, but you know what I mean. So, yep, that's how it is in my house. So right now, um, Chris is just taking down all the nails, the screws, everything that goes with the system. This was the most tedious part, I think. And um, he has to take all of that out of the wall. And then what we're going to do is we are going to fill the holes in the wall. And you guys will see that coming right up. Look at my daughter. She is just so persistent. Look at her. I am so proud of her. I am such a, I, I am a proud mom. I, oh listen you wouldn't even understand good girl thank you Mm -hmm. 
So basically what Chris is doing, he is using the stud finder to find the actual studs in the wall. Um, I hope I said that correctly, but this one, he can search for nails. He can search, search for the actual wood. Um, and it also has a measuring tape on it which is pretty dope. But yes, that's basically what he's doing and he's actually telling me exactly how to use it. He's teaching me how to use it and stuff like that. So we kind of wanted to have an idea of where the wood is behind the sheetrock so we could mark it because we will be anchoring the closet system to the wall for safety purposes. So it's good to know exactly where your wood is behind your sheetrock so you know what you're playing with you know you know you do not want to hit any um electrical work etc etc on it it's called fast and final it's a lightweight sparkling and it says patch and prime in one step so we are um, filling out the holes and then we're gonna leave it to dry go to the airport and then come back and then by the time we come back it should be dry so Chris can sandpaper it and then we can get to going as I said earlier in the video, I used the Project Source closet rod and this one is extendable from 18 inches to 30 inches in length. And this one, you have to attach it to the closet system. So it comes with its own screws. I did not use the screw that it came with because I didn't want it to go through the particle wood. So I went ahead and I got a size down screws from the one that it came with. This is the five shelf bookcase and I got it in the color white. They have a chocolate brown color and they also have black but I wanted white and it is from the Room Essentials brand. And as I said, I paid $40 for this bookcase. Now, I know it may be confusing. You're saying a bookcase for a closet system. You are going to see the end results in this video. Now, why I enjoyed doing this project, it's because one, it's a DIY project. And also, I put a closet system together before and I know how functional it will be for my baby girl. So I absolutely enjoyed this project. So this is how all the screw holes look. So Chris went ahead and filled them. And that's all of them. So we're going to leave it to dry. And then when we come back, he'll do the sanding. Hmm? 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 Pick up on each other. A four, a four of them buy. Then when you build it up, it, it go over upon it like all oh, this thing. All right. So come let us show this.
So we are on our way with the first system all put together. We have three more to go. to go if you guys are doing this when you're oh that you know say upon from the same side you gotta be careful if you go too close you don't want to break the compact wood so we gotta be careful with that right here see one more year so so we have one more one more to go. So fourth one is up and I think we're going to stop at four. We're trying to figure out her closet and figure out the paintwork and all of that. We can't find the paint that fits upstairs and there is Tiesia acting a mess. All right, guys. So after three attempts, three different shades of gray. I think we finally found the one mm. that was used to paint the well this part of the house. Alright. And Chris not stop walking and patch patch the place. So because you know. fingerprint there. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, come upstairs and know if it's char fire I know be walking and see right paint be blow down. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Me I come for char fire I know be me and say what the all right guys, so the systems are up. Um, it's just for us to place them. We're gonna figure that part out how we wanna place it and then we're gonna mount it to the wall for security purposes because you know, we don't want any accidents, especially with Tenille. Cause because our carpet is very fluffy. Uh, so the carpet, the carpet is very fluffy so plush so because of that as you can see this is easy to move so we definitely have to mount it 
after all of this next week of self care week, me I do my eyelash, my nails, everything need to get done. Chaman? No, that's not cute. You got on behind it, sir. <laughs> get knocked. That can't tell it. So our closet gets smaller because of that space road message. But now everything go in, not now when you fit out that song. Hmm? No, everything is gonna be in, you know. Really and truly, you know, I'm going to find a floor. Not now, I'm going to find a floor. Let me tell her, let me tell her, I said, I want, we can't go in a little bit, man, babe. Carrying a little bit. No, you know what, right? But once it's on a non, non, yeah. So just. So, Mark, you the pencil. Where pencil there? So Guys, tell me why are we still in Tasia's room at 12 o'clock trying to figure out this closet thing? It's pretty easy, but we want, we are putting up security measures. You know, because of the kids, so daddy gone to his bed in time for going and bed. You know, wait upon because we are night all and Chris is finishing up. Hi, so I'm um, Tasia. You look, look, look at that. <laughs> Tasia, look at that. See, this is why I want to see my No, look for my leg outside. <laughs> more but look at my back outside. So, y'all, if you come to my house, my AC is blasting. And because Chris changed the filter in here is so cold, but it's comfy. But Tasia bed is so cozy. So we're here she's, watching some she's Netflix. She's in indenting my bed. See, she. This is my part. This is like where she's sleeping, either right here or where mommy's sleeping, and never over there and never over here. Mommy's indenting my part where I sleep. Mm. Mommy, cozy. look at this. Mommy, look at this. Let me show everybody your bed. Cause you're not supposed yeah. to room. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our room. No. Look at our room. No. I'm eh? And she well I'm under Ogg's blanket so. I'm so. And look in our room. <laughs> look in our room, everybody. Look. No. No. <laughs> no. All right, y'all. So it is 12:30 a.m. on a Sunday morning, and. Chris is putting up the last adjustable rod. We kind of switched it up a little bit, but once he's finished, I'll show you guys exactly what we are, what we did. I'll show you guys what we did. Alrighty, so we are finished with Tiaja's closet. Well, I think we're finished. So I wanted to give you guys a little mini tour. It's empty right now because. You have one jack. <laughs> but um, have one there. we have one jacket because I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. So, of course, this is the bookcases from Target. So we went the viral route, the cheaper route. Um, we've already used IKEA pack system in our old home as I said earlier in the video so I kind of knew what it carried and this works perfectly fine for Tiasia so we have two systems here so we have two systems here so what we did was it's a five um, shelf bookcase so we removed some of the shelves and we added adjustable rods so she can hang our stuff and then we gave her some hanging space here as well and then i went ahead and shelved this area with some hanging space there now because of the shape and the size of her closet we had to push this one flush to the wall and then i gave her a shelf here i think i'm gonna give her an additional shelf here too and then have one shoe. she has one shoe right there so she can keep her boots down here because i did that to kind of measure the space so this is gonna be her boots section like and that's why um and that's why it's pushed to the corner um like that because we're really not we're not gonna hang anything there um it was kind of awkward trying to get the space you know how we wanted it so what we decided to do is to push this one to the corner have this one stay right here where 
she's gonna have probably her jackets and stuff like that and then whatever she wanna store here and then for this odd area right here what I'm gonna do I am gonna get um, some floating shelves and put here so she can display her cute little purses so it's gonna be like this something like this the next time you use an updated tour of her closet so it's gonna be like bam 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 probably like two or three so for this odd space right here so we're gonna fill this space out right here and then um she has a mirror that i wanted to put right here but she didn't like the idea so chris decided to mount it right here this has been here for ages I, this was my mirror actually and then she took it but the mountain oh it looks look how i look in that wall babe you look funny that looks here. That looks here. Oh. Man. So you can lift it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes guys, so Chris is over there mounting her um mirror. I wanted the mirror in here. Just put right here, but she said probably her clothes is gonna block it so i left it and then she liked the idea of walking down the runway she says so she can walk down the runway from here so i'm obsessed with how it you know it came out chris didn't want to leave these two slots um open he wanted it to look like a complete system so i don't know where he got this piece of whiteboard but he put, put this piece right here but it's a little bit triggering for me but i'm gonna live with it i think it's okay um and then these are just extra shelves that i'm gonna use um now in other people's video um their shelves are like almost touching their roof but you know our ceilings are high i've said that a million times so we could actually fit another half of another shelf up top but who is gonna go up there so i think this is perfect for her i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get some cute baskets and put up top and um probably get like something to just matching stuff but i think this is perfect for her um i think it came out perfectly fine and i'm happy we got rid of the wire um because a wire closet is just not in anymore it's, it's very outdated wire closet is like so not in so we have wire closet in the other room that we're gonna tackle at another time i think for that closet we're probably gonna need like nine or ten shelves and it's a work so we're gonna have to do that but i'm gonna have to strategically put that one up because um it's gonna be tenniel's closet so oh, let me lick up my finger but yeah so i don't want to make this video any longer i hope you guys like this closet you get an updated tour once she puts all her clothes in and sort all her stuff um you know you guys will get an updated tour of her clothes her shoes and blah 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 so yeah. If there's